Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Detective Grimoire. This is a point-and-click murder mystery, which sounds a lot of fun to me right now. So let's jump in here and see what we got. Tap, huh? Okay, so it sounds like this might be some kind of mobile board. Uh, right here. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Twenty twenty five last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A small tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? Gator farm? Maybe. I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. For what? Famous. All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The murder <laughs> suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. All right, what have we got here? Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boggy's Bog, was found dead outside his office at 2045 last night. Exact cause of death unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Slime around the wound and footprints seen suggest the culprit was Boggy, the legendary swamp creature. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Okay. Oh, so these must be the slime-covered wounds. The footprints. <laughs> There's Boggy. Boggy doesn't have claws. He's got tentacle arms. So right there. Hmm. I don't know that that's really our suspect. Our murder victim, Richard Remington. He was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That thing is our murder suspect? There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. All right. Swamp full of secrets. Your case file is in the top right. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Okay. When you've collected some, of course. I'll stay and guard our boat, so if you're confused, come back here and I'll help you. Okay, so... Well, there we go. Four files of suspect, clues, boats. Okay, so I got my police file to start with. <laughs> and Boggy. Not been officially cited for 60 years. Okay, so there's all kinds of stuff we can unlock about Boggy. Bag. Okay. That sounds a little better. Well. A simple wooden dock. Looks like it can just about hold my weight. All right, let's uh, head That's forward. That's where I need to go. Well, I can switch to walk mode with the ah. button in the bottom right. Oh, and if I'm feeling confident, I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. Well, yeah, let's do that for now. And if I end up doing terribly, I'll put them back on. But 
I would like to attempt it without them. So, um, yeah, there we go. Back. Uh, hello? <laughs> wow, you didn't get lost yet. No, I, well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> uh, of course, you're not no. great at remembering. I should be offended, though. Okay, I have no idea who she is. I've never seen you before. Saw your hat blow through here already. You must be slow, if it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, if you let me, I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be You'll get lost! I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Although, I suppose you know all about it already? They're saying it was the creature. But it can't be him. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different sort of creature. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> if you... Hmm, huh, she disappeared. Oh. I might pretend I imagined her. Alright, that was kind of strange. Is an here. opportunity for a photographic memento. The two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Are they... fighting? It looks kind of like they're hugging. Oh, this must be Boggy. It's an old statue of Boggy. His feet are hidden in a bucket of murky water. Can we look in the it's an old statue of Boggy. Oh. It's an old statue of Boggy. I was trying to click on the mushroom. Uh, what about this tree? Uh, just an odd old tree. It's just a tree. Well... I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. Don't forget to use walk mode to move... Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at everything I first. Don't okay. forget. Well, let's hop in. Just my luck, the gate's closed. Looks like I can move these metal latches around. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Alright, let's take a look. What do we got? Oh, these ones. So we just have to... Oops. No, no, no. Not down there. Get over here. Oh, it's stuck now. Great. Okay, um, come on. Shoot, I'm gonna go back and try it again. I don't forget to... Just my... Looks like I should... Then I'll probably... Alright. So... Actually, go up here. And just hang out here for a second. Hey, nice. I might get one of these from my office. All right. This is the tourist attraction? Yeah, doesn't it look fun? The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. Let's do some thinking. Okay. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom and flick through the connecting statements in between to make a sentence. Tap the confirm button to try it out. I just have to focus my thoughts and reach a conclusion. Boggy's bog seems like the middle of nowhere. Okay, so what have we got? All right, that little girl. She's not stupid. Too big for her. It's not warm enough. Well, actually, let's try. The tourist attraction is far too remote for something. Oh, that really makes sense. Okay, it's far too remote for anyone to make any money. The tourist attraction is far too remote for that little girl to make any money. 
I'm losing my mind here. Okay. Well, what other kind of options do we have? Too stupid, too big. Far too remote. That's all of them, huh? Make money to be so smart. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's looking like we're gonna have to put something together. So. What is way too big for? Hmm. See, this feels like there should be something. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. There we go. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm. It's really bugging me. What's the story behind this place? Hmm. To the cafe or the museum? Let's go to the museum. Okay, first let's go It's the base there. of a gigantic tree, and it's sitting in the very heart of the swamp. Was this entire place built around it? Oh, what are these mystery eyes? There's a hollow part of the tree, uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. Hmm. Apparently, there's a museum to the left and a cafe to the right. I'm not hungry, though. This place is putting me off food. It's a fork in the road. How non-linear. <laughs> All right, and we'll look at this one. Note to self, don't fall in. Okay, let's head over to the museum. A Where's rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. What's this? These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. Hmm, someone must have put them there. Looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bog. I can't wait. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was to the west. going on with this clearing. Rocks sitting in the water like stepping stones. If that was a natural occurrence, it's a very convenient one. Rocks sitting in the water oh, like... I was trying to click on the arrow. This area is kind of empty. I can't see anything worth writing down. There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. We should head up there. This area is kind of... Alright, let's go. The narrow path. Hmm. Oh, and this is our crime scene. So, this is where they found Remington's body. Okay. So... Oh, here's our map. Generously donated by the mysterious little girl at the entrance. When I'm exploring the swamp, I can access my map from the map button in the corner. Okay. There's the prints. The strange footprints stop right by these reeds. Maybe I should take a closer look. Maybe I can move some of them out of the way. Get out of here, cattails. Ooh. A strange pair of green flippers, badly hidden in the reeds outside the office. 
Well, that explains the footprints then. What else we got? So. Nope. Oh, that's it for that. Uh, There's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. That's a little suspicious. I don't like it here. I don't. Ah, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like kicking the door down. Maybe if I get desperate later on. All right, what's the sign say? Ah, I can't get, maybe. He doesn't want to read it, okay. What's this? There's a lockpick dropped amongst the weeds down here in the water. Oh, hey. I just have to work out which vine to break and tap that button. Okay, and... Da, 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 da. Number three. That's the one. But I wonder where this lockpick came from. Yeah, I was just clicking on the water because it was bubbling. A lockpick discarded near the entrance to Remington's office, covered in a strange liquid slime. Most likely used by the murderer to break into Remington's office. Well. Ah, uh, I can't get in here without a key. Pit. Maybe if I get. Can we use it? Nope. I don't think we can. Alright, let's wander around some more. Ah, oh, I can't, uh, can't no. maybe. I was hoping he would walk a little closer to it, but no. We'll have to find a key before we can do anything with that. Who's this fella? Aha, some suspects. <laughs> Let's get this investigation started. Uh -huh. Hey there. All right, let's see. Another suspect for my notebook. <laughs> That's a little rude. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, did I say that bit out loud? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. So would you be able hmm. to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Uh, obviously. Grimoire. Strange. Is that your first name? There we go. Yeah, it's my second name. Detective is my first it's name. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. Ask him about his job. So you already told me what you do, but now, why would a cameraman be working here? He's hoping to I get go a where I'm needed. Of the monster. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent Vandepeer. You mean that man standing on that rock over there? That's right. I've worked with him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Mm. Oh, really? But why, why did you want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm just the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. Hmm. All right. What does he know about last you night? You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here? In this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Richard Remington was there, too. Remington? Hmm. You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left the cafe looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. All right. Let's try a clue. The flippers. What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Okay, he doesn't know anything about it. What about this black pit? Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> he does not care. Uh, what else we got? The map? I'm sorry, I have not seen that before. All right. What do you know about? Bobby? You should ask someone else. About Mr. Try Robinson. showing it to somebody different. All right. So it's making it, it's looking a lot like there's probably more I could accomplish with this guy. But I have to figure the right things to ask him about. So we already asked him about his job in last night. None of the clues I have so far 
accomplishing anything. So let's keep looking and then probably come back to him later. Let's yes, check with his do boss. you have a message for me? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. Uh, there's a murder. You don't look it. Who I'm are investigating. you anyway? What a question. You're serious? I am Vincent van der Peer. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> it's a very talented beard you've got. Well, let's hope you have a talent for answering questions. That's great. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? But then I'll be too far away to talk to you. I know. <laughs> Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? Okay. So, Bobby Burrell did offer to help Richard Remington not to murder the victim. Um. No. No, oh, these. He was, he was just gonna help him because he seemed sick. Okay. What else? A ghost? <laughs> okay. Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here. Vincent okay. Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Okay, so I get a challenge topic now. Let's try it. First, tell me about What's your job. What's a famous guy like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> quite, quite. I'm sure you're thinking, why doesn't he send an assistant? But that's not the way this director works. But what are you doing? I'm feeling, I'm experiencing, I'm discovering. This area, the history, the atmosphere, it's the perfect setting for my next film. I'm on a scouting mission to get to know this swamp before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. Uh -huh. You're making a movie about Boggy? About the swamp creature? Of course. He's a fascinating <laughs> individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful right-hand man. Well, faithful enough, you know. No, I don't <laughs> Yeah, what know. do you mean by that? He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Uh, how do you mean? Uh, like how? You mean he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. He looks a bit scary. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his work. What hobby? But I wouldn't want anyone else shooting for me. Okay. What can you tell me Were about you last night? Were working yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean? Indeed I was working. Very hard indeed. Well into the night. Hmm, hard work, is it? Getting to know the swamp? You jest. But yesterday I was getting even more involved than usual, yes. Difficult to comprehend, I know. So what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was, uh, unable to find my faithful cameraman last night. He had hidden really? himself quite completely from view. Bobby Burrow, right? N did you need him to film for you? Always. But being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area, in fact. You were uh filming? Last night? Here? Yes. At the time of the murder, I believe. Oh. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Now, don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. Well, I Did do. You Can see I anything see what at you all? Got? What is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. It's a fascinating subject, one that has me captivated to the point where so, I... So, <laughs> you didn't see anything useful? I sat there for a minute. Nothing useful to you, my good detective. But there are some odd sounds on the audio track. Nothing but wild animals going about their nighttime rituals, I'm sure. Is there something I should ask the cameraman? Hmm. Okay. So... 
There. Vincent van der Peer told me that he was nowhere to be found, although he said he was over in the cafe, and if Vincent was here, then that explains that they're in different places, but Bobby's supposed to always be filming. Vincent van der Peer told me that Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Simple enough. What was Mr. Burl doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Okay. Let's ask him... About the film I don't know if it's any use to you at all. I'll film again tonight and try to get a version without all those bizarre noises in the background. Okay, what about the flippers? You won't be getting very far discussing that with me. Try someone less important. Uh-huh. You know if you want an autograph, a plain sheet of paper will suffice, thank you. All right, what can he tell us about Bobby Burrow? He's been working with me for a number of years. A real expert, of course. Mm, what do you think about Mr. Remington? Now, there's a man who could handle himself. I'm not so sure. Well, apart from yesterday, that was just a one-off, wasn't it? Ah, uh, for him, I think so, yes. All right, let's try this challenge. I heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the in the swamp? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Remington's denied you filming permission in the past. Remington has denied you the filming permission in the past. Oh, that? Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, I'm sure. Why did Remington mm. not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? Yeah. It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes, too. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie well. director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Probably money. That makes the right. most sense. That's the one. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Well, bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. So you would have owed him money? Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Hmm, but I could see why Remington would go for that, considering he probably doesn't make much money way out here in the first place. Okay. I think we're good for now. Oh, here's the footage. Recorded last night, the exact time of the murder. Filmed by Vincent Vanderpeer in the clearing on the west side of the swamp, near the crime scene. Nothing to see, but various clues can be heard on the audio track. Listen to them in order. So we will do that, but we're going to do that next time. I'm going to wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll listen to this audio track. I think we'll try talking a little more to the cameraman, and then we'll head all around the swamp to see who else we can find.